little weather perspective for us tonight. Rain and thunderstorms here, but I guess it, at least it's not this. Wow. A snowstorm. This is from Duluth, Minnesota. Parts of the state saw nearly a foot of snow Oof. in a spring storm that actually started over the weekend. So those few inches we got last week and this <laughs> rain tonight, <laughs> I guess we shouldn't complain, but we no. do have the potential for severe weather. We do. It's a small threat. And by the way, the snow that's uh, in Duluth, same system. Gives you an idea yeah. just how large this storm system is. There's blizzard warnings on the back side of this low in portions of the plains. For us, we're on the warm side of the low, and that's why it's all about rain tonight. And as Erica mentioned, chance of thunderstorms tomorrow morning. So let's time this out. Tonight, widespread soaking rain in the forecast. There'll be some places that exceed an inch of rainfall, especially out towards the western suburbs. And then tomorrow, the window 9 a.m. to noon, based on some new data coming in tonight. We think that's going to be the best opportunity to see not widespread severe weather, but some isolated intense thunderstorms with some gusty winds and a couple could even rotate. And then beyond that, a couple of passing showers, no big deal tomorrow afternoon, but it's a windy day. We could have wind gusts as high as 45, not 50 miles per hour. So all in all, the severe weather threat tomorrow, 9 a.m. to noon, it's small. We're going to keep an eye on the Doppler radar, and overall the main concern would be an isolated thunderstorm producing winds 55 to 60 miles per hour. A little bit of rotation can't be ruled out, so we'll put a low end threat of a brief tornado, and the flash flow threat's pretty low as well, as most of this rain tonight is on the light side. There's some moderate pockets beginning to develop. You see that happening right now over Chicago. There's some heavier pockets out towards the far northwest around Boone and McHenry County. So just in the last couple of minutes, the rain starting to pick up just a little bit here in the loop and also on the south side. There is a ton of moisture, though. Look at this river moisture extending all the way down to the south. So that's moving all in this direction. But the general movement is out here towards the east. So we'll be seeing some of this drier air that's over central Iowa a little bit later on tonight. So persistent rainfall now through midnight, midnight to 6 a.m. It's more scattered in nature. Best news of all, it won't be a washout for the morning commute. It'll actually be mainly dry in many spots for most of the morning commute. And then 9 a.m. to noon, a couple of showers and thunderstorms get going. This is one little less spoke of energy moving through, and a few of these could be on the intense side. It's a low-end threat of severe weather, though. And then we're done with it tomorrow afternoon. It's just cooling down to the upper 40s by 5 o'clock, and those winds howling out of the west up to 45, if not 50 miles per hour. New projections on additional rainfall have really backed off. Keep in mind there's been three-quarters of an inch plus out here towards the west. We're now looking at a quarter of an inch here in Chicago, maybe a third of an inch up towards the north shore, half inch possible in northwest Indiana. And just because this rain is light and it's going to be kind of not be as widespread just after midnight. So an alert in place for tomorrow morning because that small chance of severe weather. It's cooler, clearing 44. Socks home opener at 52. Rain chance here Friday evening. Sunday for Easter, a small rain chance and better chance for showers in the low 50s a week from today for the Cubs home opener. That's April mm. 1st, Monday. All right. Thank you, Albert. You got it.